Hello, I'm Damien Griffin. Treating hip problems in young people and athletes is still a pretty new field. Fifteen years ago, when we set up a service here in the UK, it was almost unknown. But since then, we have learnt loads about the causes, uh, the diagnosis and the treatment of hip pain in young people. Now, we can diagnose and fix most problems. One of these problems in young people is hip impingement, or FAI. Now, this has turned out to be an important and common condition, with lots of young people suffering severe pain. It interferes with sport, yes, but also everyday activities, things like driving and walking up and down stairs. Now, these people are in real trouble. Uh, they're having a lot of pain, and they're often very frustrated it takes them a long time through many doctors and physiotherapists to get a diagnosis and then to get treatment. And we think that part of the problem here is that there's a lot of confusion about what is meant by FAI and how best to manage it. So we set up an international consensus meeting to try to establish some principles for diagnosis and good treatment. Now it's been a really interesting process with a big group of sports medicine doctors, physiotherapists, surgeons, radiologists, epidemiologists and patients from all over the world. So what did we discover? Well, we've clarified the terminology. We call the clinical problem femoris tabular impingement syndrome or FAI syndrome. And we've introduced this name because it comes with a simple and clear definition. For a diagnosis of FAI syndrome, three criteria must be met. Firstly, the patient must have symptoms. Now this is usually hip or groin pain, which is brought on by exercise or certain positions. Now this is key. These are all people who have pain. They're all people who have troublesome symptoms. Now, they may also have uh, mechanical symptoms such as catching, clicking, locking, giving way, or restriction of movement, but pain is the key. Secondly, patients have clinical signs on examination of hip impingement. Now, they often have poor muscle function around the hip, uh, but perhaps the most consistent feature is a positive impingement test. And importantly, this impingement test brings on their familiar pain. Third, they have imaging findings that support the diagnosis of FAI syndrome. Uh, we suggest that a plain x-ray of the pelvis and lateral x-rays of each of the hips should be done in the first instance. CT scanning and MRI scanning may come later, especially if one is starting to think about planning surgery. Now in the article we then go on to talk about treatment options and these include conservative treatment, physiotherapy and open or arthroscopic, that is to say keyhole, surgery. And we talk about what the outcome may be, both in the short term and the long term, so people have some idea what to expect. Now we really think that this extra clarity around FAI syndrome is going to help health professionals and patients who are grappling with this difficult problem. But we'd like to know what you think. Please do download the article. Uh, it's free to download from the BGSM website as an open access article. And we also suggest that you come and join the conversation on Twitter to tell us what you think about this definition of FAI syndrome and the discussions we're having about how to manage it.